It's SEMA 2008 and we're in Las Vegas. GM performance parts are added again with a new LSX crate engines. Now we're going to discuss the installs of these engines into a Camaro. Now we have two Camaros we're going to talk about today. The difference being one's a 1969 Chevy Camaro convertible concept and the other is the brand new 2010. Kevin King's the mastermind behind this beautiful 69 Chevy Camaro behind me. It's a bit of a concept, and I say brand new because it is brand new, isn't it? That's right. It's all new. Everything on the car, including the brand new motor, is all new. All right. Well, you guys at Year One have done a fantastic job with the outside of the car, but what I want to learn is the inside of the car. You've got an LSX 376 in there. How hard was it to install that? Well, the first thing to remember when you're going in an old school car is obviously a new LS motor is not going to mount up to the subframe where the engine mounts go on a factory car. So what we did is went with a Detroit Speed and Engineering subframe where the motor mounts are in place for an LS platform motor. GM did all the hard work after that. The question becomes where do you mount the coil packs and they're way down in here currently. When we built this car to come to the General Motors booth, typically the coal packs will be on top of the motor. One of the big things that the old school guys don't like is the coal packs on top of the motor. So the fuel rails naturally right up top. The coal packs would normally be up top as well. We hit them way down low in here. So basically when you open the hood, you can see this marvelous motor sitting in there and it's easy to identify immediately as for what it is. Once again, once you get where the motor's gonna sit, General Motors sells you a motor with all the fly-by-wire, the engine management system, and everything else that you need in order to make the car go, they do it all for you. Like it's a pretty easy job then? It, well, it's, it's easy for the right guys, but it's absolutely easier than it used to be, and we can't thank them enough. Well, the car is, as I said earlier, it looks fantastic. I'm sure it performs fantastically as well. Right. Oh, absolutely. This car is a great cruiser, draws lots of attention, and we love opening the hood and showing off that LSX motor. So there you go. We've managed to show you how to put a new LSX motor into a 69 Camaro, but what about a 2010 Camaro? We've got a guy that we were chatting to earlier who's managed to do just that. So let's go over, have a chat with him. Nobody can wait to get their hands on a new 2010 Camaro, but Mike Copeland has, and he's already started ripping the thing apart and putting in new components. You've dumped an LS7 already into this beautiful red 2010 Camaro. Was it a, was it a hard job? No, it's really, really simple. Uh, you know, one of the great advantages to all of our LS series of engines is externally, they're identical. The engine mount bosses, the rear bell housing face, the case, all of those things are identical. So the engine literally bolts right back in the car with no change. The clutch inner came right off of the LS3. It'll bolt right onto an LS7. Obviously in this car, we upgraded to an LS7 clutch, but the throw out bearing works, the transmission works, no changes there at all. All the engine mounts bolted back on. The front accessory drive and dress, alternator, power strain pump, AC compressor, they all bolt right back on as well. Now in this case, we converted this LS7 to a wet sump instead of a dry sump, which all of our crate engine LS7s are. But we did that to make it easier to install. That's not a very difficult change for a person that bought an LS7 crate motor and wanted to convert that. So uh, all of that allows all the front accessory drive to bolt back on. The water pump bolts on the exact same way. All of the heater hoses, radiator hoses all hook back up. Uh, one of the neat parts is because they're all a, what we call a 58X uh, electronic crank sensor pickup, that even is the same. So the wiring harness plugs back on. You have to change a couple connectors because the map sensor is different and a few little minor things like that. But it's really a straightforward deal to do. And you can actually fire an LS7 on an LS3 computer. You don't want to run it like that very long, but you can fire it on it just to make sure that you put all your pieces in place and everything's working and nothing leaks and all that usual stuff. But then you recalibrate it to, to update it to LS7 and you've got a 500 and plus horsepower 2010 Camaro. As a potential customer for a new Camaro, I've got to say, I would be hesitant to rip the motor out straight away and put it in, but what you're saying is it's not that big a deal. No, it, uh, uh, an experienced person could literally do this swap in a weekend in their garage and be back driving. They could drive home from work Friday night if they already had somebody that, that did a computer for them that plugged right in and literally drive this car to work on Monday morning. Well, I guess I might be needing you for a weekend sometime next year, if that's okay. Stop on out. We'll take care of you. Well, there you go. Hopefully you've learned a little bit about how to swap out an engine in a 69 Camaro and a 2010 Camaro with all new LSX engines. My name's Bucko. Thanks for watching Power TV.